Now, speaking of some of these pointless premiers that are trying to hold themselves up with uh, puffing out their chests and trying to deny Australians access to their own country. Oh, what a wonderful group this is. From the Emperor in Western Australia to the Marshmallow in South Australia, to the Chairman in Victoria, to, well, Peter Goodwin, who is acting a little bit like a turtle with his head under the shell in Tasmania, and then the oh-so-compassionate Palaszczuk. Well, you should all be very proud of yourselves tonight because they're, of course, all the lockdown states, all the ones that won't let certain people cross borders and it's really hard for other people to cross borders. Well, as a result of the systems they have put in place, people with cancer are now scared of dying alone. This is where we are in 2020. Forget all the tough talk. Think about you if it was you with cancer, let alone somebody that you know or love who has cancer now. According to the Cancer Council in Victoria, one woman wrote about how her husband has terminal cancer and enjoys sitting by the car at the beach. It's about 10 kilometres from their home. But the lockdown restrictions mean the Victorians are only allowed to go 5 k's from their home and only essential reasons such as grocery shopping or medical care. So the one thing this bloke liked while he was fighting cancer, while he was trying to flatten that curve, he's not allowed to do it. Speaking specifically, the people from the Cancer Council in Victoria, I'm really worried that when we come out of COVID, we will only then listen to and hear so much of this distress. We will be overwhelmed with sadness about their experiences. But because you'll be able to go to the pub, the bet is from these politicians that you won't care. Frankly, the same way that many of you have not cared about the workers that are stuck in your state or the people who are denied a chance to cross a border, not because they want to go on holidays, but because they want to attend a funeral. So just as it was a couple of weeks ago when it was Sarah, a Queenslander who lived in Canberra where there was no coronavirus, who was not able to attend her father's funeral, not able to hold her sister's hand, we now have a situation where the people who have cancer, or if you're afraid of getting cancer, you are now just as worried about how you will die as much as the dying itself. We've all held the hand of somebody in the final days of their life. The idea that these idiot premiers, in order to show off, and their toughness is of course directly linked to when the electoral cycle is, your government is getting in the way of your life, of your final days, of what happens after you die. Don't fall for this stuff. Don't fall for this politics. It's not about polls, it's about humanity. We are basically getting back to a situation where we were before things got out of hand in Victoria, back when the country was able to play, back when we were able to not think twice about being by the bedside of those that we love. Any Premier who denies you the ability to have your family around you is not one that you would worth voting on or even the oxygen politically that they are given.